South Park savaged Meghan and Harry in its latest episode, something which the Duke and Duchess deserved according to a royal expert. The thinly veiled jab at the Sussexes would likely add to a very great concern that their popularity isn't holding up in the US, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams claims. The episode of the hit TV show follows the Prince and Princess of Canada, who immediately draw comparisons to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The cartoon prince has bright red hair and has written a tell-all book titled Wa while the princess dons a dusky pink outfit similar to the one Meghan wore at the Trooping of the Colour in 2018. The caricatures go on a worldwide privacy tour holding signs which say we want our privacy and stop looking at us, an obvious dig at Meghan and Harry who moved to America amid concerns over their privacy. A dig which, Mr. Fitzwilliams says, is well deserved. They roasted the royals, if you want to see pretty cruel, and often hilarious, humor, you'll see them on South Park behaving in weird ways. I've just been watching some of it, and it's perfectly obvious, because of their behavior, they deserve it, Mr. Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk. However, the Sussexes should have expected such treatment after publicly attacking the royal family, according to Mr. Fitzwilliams, who believes constant media appearances appear to have cost Meghan and Harry at least some of their popularity. On the one hand, with all the intimate photographs, texts and all the rest of it they put on Netflix, on the other hand they keep talking about privacy, 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 yet they attack, said Mr. Fitzwilliams. He added, Harry attacked his own family in public, they both did it on Oprah. If you do that to the world enough, the world take notice and the world will think less of you. Citing a popularity poll done in the US last month, Mr. Fitzwilliams claimed the Duke and Duchess actions were catching up to them. If their American support is not holding up that is a very great concern for them, he suggested. Now, with South Park, I don't normally like cruel cartoons but I'm afraid considering the way they behaved they deserved it.